hi everybody uh welcome back to the channel uh, my name is tanya i'm coming to you from kingston jamaica and in today's video i'm finally going to get my project using sizer easy color dtv going so in my last video i in i was talking about the new sizer easy color dtv and where you could get it if you lived in jamaica and what it was and what's the cost and so on and some of the benefits of using it so today i'm actually going to use it for you and <clears throat> uh, show you how to use it um what are the what are the press settings and so on so i have a really cool project that I'm going to do. I had said I'd do a t-shirt or a bag. So today I'm actually going to do a tote bag. So I'm going on a little holiday this weekend down to the south coast here in Jamaica, you know, for a little downtime. And I need to go to the beach. So I'm going to need a tote bag for my towels. And so I decided that I'm going to go ahead and make that tote bag with you and show you how I'm going to use this size of easy color dtv so what are the things that we're going to be using i am going to be using the new size of dtv it has a matte side a matte white side and it has a gloss side so when you're going so when we print our image we're going to be printing on the matte white side and of course we're going to need our tote bag and this is a really nice project because it is going to be more of a jamaican inspired reggae colors theme type of bag so <clears throat> this is the tote bag that i'm going to be using and the handle has the reggae colors so you can use do this um, on any tote bag that you can pick up from Amazon or from any store but the design that I'm going to use which makes it even cooler is a drawing that my son did my 10 year he was 10 years old when he did it he's 11 now and it is um, it has the reggae colors design so I thought it would go very nicely with this bag so this bag I picked up at Sun Island here in Jamaica um, that's in uh, Swallow Field in Kingston. But as I said, you can use any bag from Amazon. I am also going to be using the Nikapa cutting mats that I picked up during Prime Days, as you saw in my Prime Days video. I am going to be using my Cricut Air 2 to cut out my design and... I'm going to be using the Sisa TTD mask to transfer that design. So um, I'm going to take you over to my computer now to show you that design and we'll get making this bag. So stay tuned, stay tuned, don't click off. I really want to show you this cool design that my son did and I'm going to show you exactly how to use this new Sisa Easy Color DTV what are your cut settings and what are your press settings okay so here we are i'm going to take you over to cricket design space i'm going to show you the design that we're working with and what will be um what's going to be our printer settings to get a really nice look to our image this is the design that we're going to be putting on the tote bag. As I said, this drawing was done um, by my son. So I'm really excited to use it. And I've added one of my favorite taglines uh, from, and it's just a Jamaican saying, it says, do your thing. So, and as it, so you can see, we have the orange triangle over here. That means our image is a little too big. And so when you're using the print and cut feature with Cricut, there are some dimensions that you have to stay within. And so our width is okay. Our widest or highest that we can go is 
to five. And if we're nine wide, then we need to keep our height um, at 6.75 or below. So I'm just gonna unlock here and change our height to 6.75 and then our triangle should disappear. All right, so our triangle is no longer there, but you can see our image, our guy looks a little bit too wide. So let's take our width down to maybe about 8.75 and see if that helps. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So I'm good with this, I like this. So um, uh, after I added the do your thing, I went ahead and grouped everything and then I flattened it to make the entire image a print and cut. So we're okay, so we're gonna go ahead and say make it. Okay, so here we are. Everything is on matte, it all looks good. So the first thing that we're gonna do is to print and then we go ahead and, and cut. So we don't need to, because we're going to be printing on the size of Easy Color um, DTV, we don't need to mirror. Usually when you're pressing to a t-shirt, you mirror your design. Um, we don't need to mirror for this. So we're going to send to printer. Okay, so in order to print and get a really nice clean cut where we're not having any white lines around our image, I am going to leave the bleed on. The bleed will allow for our, to give our image um, a little uh, border. It will give our image a little border that the Cricut will cut on so that when we're finished, we don't have any of the white sheet surrounding our design. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Epson Eco tank, and I'm going to be using uh, my regular L3250. So that means I'm just using regular Epson ink, no eco solvent ink or sublimation ink. We're focusing on our regular ink. So I'm going to click use system dialog so I can go in and do the settings. Presentation paper mat and go up to high, go up to high quality. Okay, so I've got my image printed. Yep, I've got my image printed and I am now going to cut this on my Cricut. And for my Cricut, my cut settings, I have put it on printable iron on light. Okay, so I'm going to, as I said, I was going to be using my new Nikapa mat. Ooh, new mat. All right, so I let this dry for a little bit, and then I'm just going to go ahead and put this down on the mat. Let's get that down. So we want to get that nice and straight. And we want to press it down without touching our registration marks uh, too much. We don't want to smudge the registration marks um, because we want to make sure that the Cricut actually does cut it. So, so far, so good. I'm excited about this because it's actually already cut to the A4 size. When I'm using the size of color print easy, I actually have to cut it down to this size myself. And sometimes that cut isn't so straight and the Cricut does not like when the cut isn't straight. So... All of this should be good and I'm going to let the Cricut do its thing. Okay, so the cut didn't go very well for me. Um, 
as you can see I have some of my words lifting and this doesn't seem like the backing is very sticky so if you're gonna have a problem um, so you might have a problem there because you can't actually stick it back down like you would with a regular vinyl so I'm going to have to change my cut settings for this um, doesn't seem but I'm gonna weed it and see how it goes uh, maybe we can still salvage the project um, because I think it's just the Jamaica up here that's a problem so we could probably just not have that there I actually did want to remove the words but because of how it was uh, the image was created it was sitting basically on top of the um, the main drawing and so it was very hard to remove but let's see if we can remove it here and then we'll have a cool image to use and then perhaps um, if I use the same setting next same settings next time I would take remove it from default and put it on um, less so that uh, we don't have this peel up but we'll see so let's go ahead and weed it away it feels lighter than the um than the color print easy it feels thinner and i think they did say it was going to be thinner than that okay so seems as if it will allow me to get rid of the jamaica from there let's just use our weeding hook and push the top back down let's separate that there we go okay so we're gonna get a chance to remove the part that didn't go so well so we'll try to get rid of that all right so maybe we can uh, use our exacto knife and take away that part so let's see if we can get rid of this part of the vinyl so nothing is ever perfect especially when you're using a product for the first time Okay, so we got rid of that lovely Cricut X-Acto knife. All right, looks good. Wow. Letters want to come up. So let's just push that back down. Go ahead and use love this I love this tool it has the pin weed the pin pen weeding end and this is really great for pushing that vinyl down without damaging the vinyl So the regular mask I got at Gavin Port's uh, hair, this is the TT, size of TTD mask, and the high tack, I bought that on Amazon. I will link it for you. going to fold it at the taco and hopefully we're able to keep it straight let's let that side drop down and see if we can 
get this to go down properly. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the awesome thing with this is it's not giving me the nightmare that the size of uh, TTV would normally uh, give where it's super hard to pick up. This looks like it's going to be uh, pretty easy to pick up. All right. So let's burnish that down so that we get out all the air bubbles and we lift it up easily. Yeah, so this looks like we're going to be picking up the image a lot easier than with the T the it's a lot thinner than I don't think it was a little hard to work with, but maybe with practice, just knowing exactly how it works and perhaps if I use the high tack instead, um, it would work better. Okay, so I have my heat press set at uh, 310 for uh, 12 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pre-press my my bag okay so this is a 9 by 12 press that I got from eBay and I got it as at a pretty reasonable price so I'm gonna go ahead and pre-press uh, get out those wrinkles um, get out that extra moisture just for about five seconds Okay, and then we're going to go and put down our design. All right, so we've pressed it. It is a warm peel, so we're going to um, allow that to uh, cool down. So and allow it to cool down and then take it back to the table and we'll peel. All right, it feels pretty warm, so I'm going to slowly, slowly peel this up. Nice. Oh. Overall, it's just gonna take a little practice, but I have to say that I really do like it more. Um, I think it's, it's easier to work with than the color print easy and it is i'm not sure if it's really thinner than the, it is thinner but you can still feel it all right it's not like sublimation where it would be into the fabric uh you can feel it on top of the fabric um you can feel it on top of the fabric but it looks great and you didn't have to do this in pieces and you didn't have to get a special printer special ink and so i think it is really really worth it and yeah i i really like this so you can go ahead and make your full color t-shirts your full color bags no problems no special printer no special ink so i really like this product okay so if the only thing I was transferring uh, was this image, I would not have needed the mask. So I wasn't sure in my initial video, but working with it, um, it will peel up very, very, very easy, easily from the backing. So the mask is really necessary if you have the letters. But if you're just transferring this image, you could just use a pair of scissors, cut it out, 
pick up that design and use your iron your home iron could actually transfer this to your bag or your t-shirt so if you are not a small business and you are just a hobby crafter or you're watching this video and you're thinking oh i could print myself i could just print for myself and make a cool t-shirt for myself or my kids then you can do it this size of um color easy dtv will work for that so if you are just at home and you want to create a cool t-shirt you can do it um so i think this is a really really nice product for that um so i really give it a thumbs up so if you enjoyed this video if it was useful for you please give it a like if you want to see me do some more projects um subscribe come back and see what i've got i've got some really cool uh jamaican and caribbean themed uh projects that i'm going to be doing and uh if you're outside of jamaica and the caribbean it doesn't matter all the steps i'm going to be using all the processes will be applicable to you and um so come and see come and see what's crafty in the islands come see what's crafty in jamaica so um so like and subscribe and come back and see what's more what's happening here in beautiful jamaica so i'm ready to go off to the beach because i've got my towel bag and everything ready to go bye